Abigail Eden's grandfather, thrilled at the return to Israel of his four-year-old American-Israeli granddaughter, thanked U.S. President Joe Biden for his role in gaining her release on November 26 after more than 50 days in Hamas captivity, I am very thankful to Biden. We love him for all the help he extends to us and also to all the Americans, thank you very much. We love you. Continue to support us. We are a democracy, the grandfather, Carmel Eden, told Reuters, although joyful at Abigail's return, he lamented the loss of her parents, Roy and Smatter, in a Hamas rampage through southern Israel on October 7. Biden said Abigail had witnessed her parents being killed and had been held since then. Roy was a journalist for Ynet, a local online news agency. In Tel Aviv, Roy's colleagues, who were using his camera equipment on the day of his daughter's release, said they were honored to be carrying on his legacy in journalism. אני מודה מאוד לביידן, אנחנו אוהבים אותו על כל העזרה שהוא מושיט לנו וגם לכל האמריקאים. תודה רבה, אנחנו אוהבים אתכם, תמשיכו לתמוך בנו, אנחנו דמוקרטיה. תודה. But they are very excited that she's uh, finally home. Uh, they are waiting to see her. Um, the joy in their house is can't be described. The family wants to thank President Biden for all the support and uh, for bringing Abigail back home. Two days ago, two days ago, one of our fellow Americans, a little girl named Abigail, turned four years old. She spent her birthday, that birthday, at least 50 days before that, held hostage by Hamas. <clears throat> Today, she's free, and Jill and I, together with so many Americans, are praying for the fact that she is going to be all right. You know, she's free, and she's in Israel now. And uh, so those who are now uh, wrapping Abigail in love and care and the supportive services she needs, she's been through a terrible trauma. Abigail was among 13 hostages released today from Gaza under the brokered and sustained, though intensive, U.S. diplomacy. She's now safely in Israel, and we continue to press and expect for additional Americans will be released as well. We will not stop working until every hostage is returned to their loved ones. It was very emotional. I know I can't. I keep telling my friends that I'm never the story as a correspondent, and it's not about me. I never talk and or show any emotion when I do the news because it's. I don't have the right to be emotional. It's their. It's the families. It's not me. I don't have a family member that is hostage in Gaza. But I felt like Nikoi is uh, is proud in some way that maybe he knows that she's coming home and he's proud that his friends and his, um, his system, his teammates are talking about it and mentioning him and talking about her so it made me feel very special to be honored to carry his mic today. There's no doubt that Abigail's story, because of her parents, because of Oyen Smadar, was the hardest that I've heard so far, but I hope she is a strong kid from what I heard, so I hope she'll get, she'll get past it and she'll be reunited with her siblings, her brother and sister. I hope she'll be okay.